In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Pavin runs what I believe to be the best bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you are sitting there and you're saying that I want to get better at Madden, I want to compete, I want to be able to win tournaments and things like that, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to be able to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know for whenever we release new videos that might be able to help you become a better Madden player and so again you can hit that subscribe button completely for free and in today's video we're taking a look at how Henry who is one of my favorite Madden players to study runs the bunch tight end we're gonna be giving you a, one of his play breakdowns or I apologize we're gonna be breaking down Pav and we broke down Henry earlier uh, this morning we're gonna be breaking down how one of the really really good plays that Pavin likes to use out of the bunch tight end since Pavin and Henry are kind of in the same uh, crew they do a lot of similar things and so uh, we're going to learn from both of them in today's uh, video series if you want to check out the video I did on on uh, young Henry's uh, bunch that is available uh, over at the channel so just head over there but we're going to be talking today about PA boot over now I actually have a full Jets ebook out that covers everything it covers the bunch it covers the trips tight end offset and it covers the bunch tight end so the three most powerful formations from the Jets playbook I actually have it all rolled into one offensive ebook for you if you want to be able to get my full Jets offensive guide it is available for just 15 bucks I just uh, I just um, put it in the description for you so if you want to check it out there it is down there below but the play we're gonna be talking about in today's video is we're gonna be talking about the PA boot over and we're gonna be sharing with you a specific adjustment that I think is super super effective that Pavin likes to use so here's how he sets this up basically what he does is he is going to put his tight end or his X receiver on a streak. He is going to hot route his square receiver, which is Marquez Vettis Scantling, um, to a curl. And then he's gonna take his running back and put him on a little in route. This setup right here is really, really hard to stop. Pop is not the only one that uses this. A lot of people use this. Drini is another one that is really, really effective with this setup. But I just want you to watch and I want you to kind of see what this setup practically will do for your offense. So basically what's going to happen at the snap of the ball is if they are playing some kind of Mabel coverage on that left side, this curl route is going to be consistently open. In fact, the curl route is probably one of the most effective routes on this play because it's very, very difficult to stop it. In fact, you can't stop it really with zone drops. What you have to do is you have to shift into some type of man-to-man -man coverage. And so if they shift into man-to-man -man coverage like I'm going to right here, then what's going to happen is it's typically going to leave your running back isolated on the left side of the field. As you can see, we're able to just hit the quick flat to the running back, get up field, and get easy yardage. Now, all the while, while you're still doing all of those adjustments and all those setups, one of the beauties of this play is that the uh, triangle receiver, which is your best receiver, that's where you want to put your best route runner. So for the Packers, that is where you will always put Devontae Adams if you're going to run this offense with any uh, regularity. But you're going to put Devontae Adams right there. And what you're going to see is that this crossing route is absolutely insane. Once it gets to the sideline, it gets over the top of 25-yard curl flats, 25-yard flats. It gets way over the top of those zones, and he's going to be very, very effective for you. So as you can see right there, we're stretching the defense in more ways than one. Another way that we stretch the defense is through this route to the circle receiver. And so you can still feel free to roll out. And once you get out here, you can playmaker that guy up. If they're using zone drops, oftentimes the flat will not go up with him. And as you can see, he's going to be able to get into a very tender area on the field. Now, another little tactic that a lot of people will like to use, especially out of like a cover three, is they'll play, especially if they're, if they're doing... Um, if they're, if they're for whatever reason, if they're playing, you know, bunch tight end or something like this, another defense that you're going to see is some type of, what they'll do is they'll basically take the safety away on the right side of the field. So if they're playing cover two and that safety does not go up like that right there, then you can pass lead this route to the right. As you can see, it gets over the top for an absolutely massive gain. That is just how this play works against zone coverage. Now, as far as man coverage goes, there's a lot of different things that you're gonna be able to be um, known for with this as far as man coverage, but the first and foremost thing about man coverage, we always wanna to try to hit our running back by isolating the running back here on this in route. It is super, super glitchy and super, super effective. You're gonna have a lot of success using that against man-to-man -man coverage. 
Now, another route that we want to talk about as far as it pertains to man-to-man -to -man coverage is indeed this curl route. Because of one step ahead not being as popular, you actually can throw this curl route against man-to-man -man coverage with a lot of consistency, whether it be in mutt, whether it be in regs, it really doesn't matter. You're going to have a lot of consistency with this curl route. If you want to put him on a smart routed hitch, you certainly can do that as well. It's the same concept, but basically we're just going to low ball and then we're going to click on and we're going to aggressive catch that. As you can see, it's a very simple little tactic, but it's very, very effective against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if you're playing man-to-man -man coverage where the circle receiver does not get pressed, for example, like a 3-3-5 situation, oftentimes if that circle receiver doesn't get pressed, he's going to beat man-to-man. -man. And as you can see right there, he has great separation to be able to get open against the man-to-man -man coverage. So that's another option that you have as well. And then the last thing that I wanna show you as far as man-to-man -man coverage goes and really the route that we wanna focus in on would be this triangle route right here to the Devontae Adams. If you have a good route running receiver, oftentimes he is going to be able to get open against man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see right there, you've got several options on this play that are gonna be able to beat man coverage. They're gonna be able to beat zone coverage. And that is the beauty of the bunch tight end. And so if you want to get my complete Jets offensive guide that breaks down the trips tight end offset, the bunch tight end, as well as the bunch offense. You can get all three of those formations completely broken down for just 15 bucks. I put a link to the guide in the description. It's a one-time purchase. You don't, it's no, there's no strings attached to it other than that. You just purchase the guide and you get the offensive breakdown. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208 218 six nine zero zero and again if you want to get my jets offensive guide it is available in the description for just 15 bucks